want to give you a little bit of a whistle stop tour of the uh, piano settings, the electric piano, and some of the guitars on GNOS, starting off with the grand piano. Absolutely gorgeous Yamaha CFX Concert Grand. They have not made a better one. Uh, stage Grand is a little bit brighter. This is a nice one. Listen to that lovely reverb on there and delay. Beautiful, it just inspires you to play all sorts of uh, new things. Um, CFX with the uh, DX combined as well. Great for 80s style. Very evocative of the era. Slight variation. Now that warm pad just there brings in a little bit of uh, a uh, synth pad in the background. Listen, you can hear it. Very subtle, but it works nicely. Um, slight variation here. Some Vox on there as well. Cocktail Grand. Really like these octave pianos. Again, it inspires you to try something different. Uh, let me get into a slightly different model of Yamaha Grand. A little bit more um, Elton John in its style. Again, these combine a little bit of pad underneath. You can just hear it backing it up slightly. If you want to go all Brian Adams on that one, quite a nice effect with the Vox in the background too. Sing along at home. Um, this combined with various different pads there, harpsichord. I love these upright pianos, really characterful. You can almost hear the rickety old wooden cabinet and the hammers working. Slightly poppier version here. Yamaha are so good at doing pianos. Now this is um, John Lennon's piano, in short. So characteristic, you can hear that little slapback echo that Lennon would have. have heard there that if you give it a bit more welly it does give you a slightly different response which is really nice as electric pianos now these are 
are just fabulous. It really encourages a different style of playing altogether. And there's plenty of variations, a slightly amped version, with a bit of distortion on there. Some of these are lovely. Again, really of that era. Sing along at home. Oh, this is a great one if you're listening in stereo. Love it. Again, it just inspires you to try something new. It's tremolo. Yamaha, of course, as you'd expect, give you the DX pianos absolutely perfectly. That lovely 80s tubey effect. Bit of um, pad on the back of it as well, underneath, just giving it a slight boost. Again, different response. If I play harder, it gives me a different response. sounds on here. That's what I like about it. You can really feel the passion that's gone into making this instrument. So that was the uh, electric piano and piano section. Let's go through and have a look at guitars because concert guitars are always lovely on here. So it's quite a difficult thing to capture um, the sound of playing a guitar on a piano, but they do a great job because it's, it's about capturing those imperfections as well. And you can hear the um, fret buzz and the slide of the guitarist as well. This is steel acoustic. slight variation as well which probably works a bit better for Ralph Mattel style stuff. Uh, thumb pick so it's picking but it's slightly softer. I think I prefer this one. Uh, resonator was new for on the Genos keyboard and listen to the aftertouch on this. Isn't that awesome? You can almost hear the guitarist finger on the fretboard. And once you get the hang of it, you know how to sort of employ it and you can really get 
um, some magnificent variations. And again, it inspires you to, to create something in a totally different style and try something new. Uh, let's give it another go. <laughs> That's fantastic, isn't it? That's the song that always springs to mind. There's a variation with a bit of slapback delay here we can use as well. Um, like the old boss pedals used to give you a little bit of slapback. Bit of Noffler there. Uh, ukulele was a nice addition. Becoming a popular instrument. Used in loads of music production now. Um, very thoughtfully, they've added a, two ukuleles playing at once, which gives a good effect. Never remember how that goes. And here we've got 12 strings. And I have a crack at doing Hotel California because that's always what comes to mind. And if I can remember how to play it though. Something like that. There it is. That's what you get when you learn it on guitar and have to translate it in your head into piano. Uh, 12 string picked probably works a little bit better for it. I'll try not to murder it anymore. It's better. Again, those little slides and inflections are what's so impressive about this. 